Before we get into the video people, I am giving away 11,500 Apex coins every month. To be in with a chance of winning them, make sure you are subbed to this channel and have that bell notification button ticked. Drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. More details are in the video description. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I do appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Apex Legends video and today I bring you my opinion on what we need to see from Season 2 and the battle pass that follows suit. Now I ain't sure if you were a massive Titanfall fan, I was, the first one was revolutionary, the second one was just as good. The story campaign to number 2 was incredible, but in my opinion both games ran dry pretty quick. I do not want this happening with Apex, and yeah for sure one could argue content will flow due to the roadmap and so forth, but in terms of season 1 people and what we know so far about this content the roadmap will offer, well season 1 fell short. People were not happy with what we got, numbers are falling and so are fans. Just looking up Twitch averages at the moment for Apex and compare them to Fortnite even though at one stage Apex was blowing Fortnite out of the water, that isn't happening anymore. And I think it's mainly due to Season 1 and the Battle Pass not living up to expectations. Because let's face it people, the number one Battle Royale game now on the planet is Fortnite. People will always compare a new Battle Royale game to Fortnite. And if said Battle Royale game does not live up to expectations Fortnite sets, shit goes downhill pretty quick. So today guys I bring you a few things I feel need to come with Season 2 and the Battle Pass that follows with it. Hopefully someone at Respawn will see this video and take some of it into consideration. That would be absolutely amazing. Guys, if I miss anything out, be sure to leave a comment down below with what you feel needs changing going forward. Okay, so firstly, let's talk about the changes that need to happen to the game with Season 2 latest. So I think we need new ways of spending legend tokens. I mean, I've literally just hit a level 100. I have every viable legend, yet I'm still sitting on almost 40,000 legend tokens. And that's also with me buying the Wraith skin that was available about 3 weeks back. I can honestly see legend tokens being piled up to a point where there won't be enough stuff to buy them or use them in game on, truly making them pretty pointless to grind for. So I truly feel we need more things to spend these on. Simple things like XP boosters, a few loot items too, like quips, trackers also, why not allow us to spend them on Apex packs while we are there? I ain't saying that the same cost as the Apex coins, maybe 5 times the price, but hey, allow us to spend these somewhere because at the moment they are pretty pointless and a useless reward to many. Next up is something I'm calling preferred legends, so we should be able to select 3 preferred legends. That way when it comes to selecting a legend and you are away from controller or keyboard or doing something else and not watching your screen and your first two choices get picked, the game will automatically pick your third choice instead of picking Gibraltar for you. Yeah that's annoying as heck and no offence to any Gibraltar fanboys out there but yeah he does suck in my opinion. Also create an easier way of selecting your local server. Ok so since the game's release there's been a way you can select which server you play on to reduce the lag and so forth. But this server menu isn't easy to find as it pops up at random. To trigger it now in game you have to either be kicked from the game back to that press A or X menu screen and hopefully you will see in the bottom left corner of your screen it's called data center it doesn't always pop up when you get kicked or you can sit at this menu screen and keep logging in at your profile this works best for me but when it does pop up you'll see it in the bottom left called data center and what this does is it allows you to pick your closest server to play on. A lot of the time the default one for me is Salt Lake City, I don't even know where that is but I'm pretty sure it ain't in UK. And this could be the very reason a lot of you guys are experiencing a lot of lag. Because your connection, you're not playing on the best server you can be. And to be honest, a server picker option I'm still seeing people to this day complain about, saying the game hasn't got, yet it has. So like I said, this needs to be cleared up, it needs to be an option you can just go to in your settings and change there instead of messing around trying to get this thing to pop up. Ok so next up I feel a change to the map in terms of evolving it somehow needs to happen. This is something we see with most seasons in Fortnite, where they change the map up. This needs to happen in Apex, as it does get really boring flying into the exact same map every single match. Giving a fresh new feel can drastically change the way people see and feel about the map and stops people getting bored so quick. Now I am in the process of making a video with what I believe might just happen leading up into season 2 in terms of possibly a major event on the map known as Kings Canyon. This video will be soon up or may already be up by the time you've watched this video so go check it out on my channel. 
But yeah guys, changes to the map would be amazing in my opinion, something that will eventually be needed. Okay, so why don't they allow us to use every legend within the training area? Although I ain't too fussed about that, maybe they should allow us to use every weapon with all available attachments, meaning all rarities of weapon attachments, so we can conclude our own testings. I don't think this would be a hard incorporation either. Okay, so people want to see them, so I may as well add them to this list, and they are a solos and duos playlist. Now, as many times as these have been datamined to be coming, we still sit here and wait. Solos is something I feel the community has wanted for the longest of time, and Respawn can't hold off much longer. So what about limited time game mods, where we get one week events of let's say sniping only, or high jump, or legendary weapons only, etc etc. Anything to mix things up to keep things fresh is welcome to me. Okay so a big one, new legend skins and new weapon skins. With every season in my opinion I'd at least expect to see one new legendary skin, at least, I mean it's a new season, we want new things in game to chase. To be honest I find it's really weird that we haven't seen new skins as of yet. What it might be though is the fact a lot of the content we are getting now with season 1 and the battle pass and so forth I feel was probably already made content in which they didn't think Apex Legends would take off the way it did so the content we got is probably old content and season 2 may bring much much more well that is what I hope as there will be no excuse by then for us in not seeing new skins. Okay so we need new badges and trackers, mainly here I'd like to see account wide badges, so things like total kills and total games won across all legends. Also the opportunities for badges are truly endless, you can literally have a badge for let's say 10 legendary weapon kills in a single game, revive 5 or 10 teammates in a match, I mean badges are a great addition, so we need new ones and new ways to unlock these unique ones. Challenges in games are something many many people like to do and chasing a certain badge much like the 20 kill one really entices players back on a daily and hopefully they understand that. So another thing I like to see is the ability to map your controller, basically give yourself the layout you'd want to match other games you play as there's nothing worse than going back to your favourite game and not remembering the buttons, yes that sucks. So yeah, controller mapping should be a thing. Okay so moving on and I think the shop needs to rotate a little quicker or offer more than the usual items, maybe incorporate things to purchase with legend tokens besides the skins we see. I'd be fine with a couple of items per week up for sale for legend tokens, that would be cool in my opinion. I mean the only way you can buy things with legend tokens now in the current shop is if you've already got the said skin that goes along with these unique things that they bring or if you purchase apex coins first. And that really, I mean I understand it from their perspective in trying to entice people into purchasing these Apex coins, I have no problem with that, but maybe one or two items per week to spend the hundreds of thousands of stacked legend tokens we have would be a great addition. Okay so what do you people think about emotes? I feel there is definitely room for them in Apex Legends. I feel they will be a great inclusion and we also have a few spaces spare on our d-pads for emotes. So I think they could be a great inclusion, but what do you think about that? Okay and lastly before we move on to things I'd like to see from the next battle pass, I'd like to see more of a reward for winning a match, maybe gift winners crafting metals. A mount could be something like 100 per win, because at the moment for people winning a game means not much when you're already max rank. People need that incentive to win and keep playing and coming back, besides a number and a stat tracker you haven't unlocked yet. So yeah, maybe rewarding people with things like crafting medals for winning would be a great incentive. Maybe even a challenge board for say 10 wins you get a unique skin, 20 wins you'll get a unique skin, 30 wins, 40 wins, 50 wins etc etc. Give people incentive to come back, play and win. Okay so let's move on on what I'd like to see from the next battle pass. Well firstly let me state, I actually don't think there's much in groundwork that needs to be changed with the battle pass, I mean things just need to be added, adjusted maybe, but the core basics in my opinion are fine. Okay so firstly I'd like to see the addition of challenges added daily challenges or even weekly challenges. Now these could more or less revolve around getting a set amount of kills with said weapons and so forth, loot certain areas, find things in game put in place for challenge purposes by respawn, I mean the possibilities are endless here. But doing challenges and giving us more ways to earn XP to level up is something we love. So yeah the addition of challenges would be a great addition in my opinion. Now on to one of the most disappointing things about their current battle pass and that is the lack of unique rewards. The season 1 battle pass I can tell you offers maybe 10 things worth getting. 
most of them are Apex packs. This should not be the case. A season battle pass should offer loot and items unique to that season in my opinion and this was a big underwhelming part of season 1 and the battle pass that come with it. The season 2 battle pass needs to draw people into wanting to play and grind for them high levels. Offering us unique rewards will do that. At the moment the only unique things are the evolving Havoc skins. Okay, so sticking with the theme of unique loot being rewarded from the battle pass, I feel if again the battle pass has 110 levels, the final 10 levels should offer evolving character skins, one for each level between 100 and 110. This is the incentive we want, not an evolving skin to a weapon hardly anyone likes or uses. So yeah, give us super rare, super unique evolving legend skins would be absolutely amazing and I'm pretty sure we would all agree on that. And finally, the legend bonus. Now although I think this is a great idea and does work well, I do think the legend bonus needs to be shown at the character select screen, as well as within the battle pass tab, just to make things easier for people like me who do these legend bonuses. So a little indicator when you've done your weekly uh, legend bonuses within the character select screen would be amazing. But yeah guys, on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys have anything to add, anything you want to see changed or added with Season 2 and the Season 2 Power Pass, let me know what it is down below within that comment section, people. But this is what I want to see changed and what I want to see added. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really does help out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Apex Legends videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next next one.